The fun and popular image of Prelude number no. 5 presents us with interesting interpretive challenges. It is made up of two subjects, one in eighth notes and one in sixteenths, which are very different in character and both seem to be equally important. How to choose which one to emphasize? Well, thankfully, the prelude has two halves, each one is repeated twice, so whatever decision you make, you can then change it on either in the next half or the next repetition. So let's say now you've made a decision about which subject you would like to emphasize, but you still have to make decisions about structure, phrasing, and dynamics. How do you do that? I think the best way is to get inside Bach's beautiful mind by trying to follow the clues that he's left behind and to try to understand his intent. Let's start by examining the eighth note subject. As you can see, the subject is two measures long in the beginning and appears like that two more times throughout the piece. However, the rest of the appearances of the subject are truncated. They're only one measure long. This happens many times throughout the first half and every time during the second half. I think this is a very meaningful clue. I choose to interpret the dynamics quite differently depending on the length of the subject and make the long subject have longer dynamic shape than the short one. As you can see, I colored the 16th note subject pink to differentiate it from the more masculine sounding blue. The pink subject does the same thing as the blue subject did in the first half and breaks in half and so the units are now one measure long. In the second half, however, even more interesting things happen. The pink subject now bifurcates further forming units that are only half a measure long. I choose to showcase that to the listener by creating dynamic arches depending on the length of the unit. In other words, whether the unit is two measures long or one measure long or half a measure long, it gets a hairpin dynamic. See if you can follow or agree with my thinking process as you listen to this performance.